Swansea City boss Carlos Carvalhal has branded Renato Sanchez emoji clanger as stupid as the lone flop prepares to end very bad season in South Wales. The Portuguese midfielder caused fury among Swans fans when a picture of him launching his own emoji appeared on his social media channels the day after Swansea's defeat to Southampton had put them on the brink of relegation. The 20-year-old has proved a massive disappointment following his lone move from Bayern Munich and the defining image of his nightmare season will be his pass into the advertising hoardings at Stamford Bridge in December. And Carvalho labeled his faux pas as stupid, believing Sanchez allows his friends to run his social media accounts rather than doing them himself or using a professional. I heard about it, I have not seen it, said Carvalho when asked about the emoji storm. But I say to the players about social media all the time. The majority of them are not dealing with their social media, they are dealing with people who support them, and I say not to do it because you are football players and sensitive about the fans and so on. Image, U Evans Picture Agency, when we put things not about football in someone else's hands they think they are doing a good thing. But they are doing one of the most stupid things in the world. So I have not spoken to Renato, but I believe this is what has happened. I have seen it happen before in my career and it has happened again. I always tell players not to put social media in the hands of other people. You can give it to someone with experience who will know what to do, but many give it to their friends who can be stupid and create these situations. I have seen it happen often, trouble with social media, even though you tell players to be careful because it is their face on it. Carvalhal confirmed Sanchez will not be involved against Stoke in the final game of the season, although he insisted it was not to do with his social media gaffe but to allow Leon Britton to be involved in the matchday squad for his final game before retirement. However, the Swans boss could not say whether the Portugal international would attend the game, even though the 20-year-old elected to stay in South Wales when offered the chance to go home earlier this week. But the former Sheffield Wednesday boss pulled no punches in his assessment of Sanchez's season and believes the player made a serious error in joining Bayern Munich two years ago. He knows, he has had a very bad season, since the time we have been here we have pushed him and he is progressing, said Carvalhal. He is not at the level he was in when he had the injury it finished him and he would agree this has been a really bad season for him. Someone told me he could go back to Benfica, if he can it is the best step. It happens often with Portuguese players, they have talent then they jump from junior team to the first team, they play well and go to the national team. But, when after one season in Benfica and with the national team, was he ready to go somewhere like Manchester United? In my opinion no, because he is a boy and he is not developed yet. A year before he was playing under 19 football. Teammates celebrate with Sanchez, he needed more time in Benfica, to play two or three consistent seasons where he knows more about football. He has a big talent, but he has much to learn. He stopped learning when he left and went to one of the biggest clubs of the world. He is a natural playing inside a machine and he was not ready so I think going to Benfica and having his friends and mother and father around him, and a good club to support him, he can achieve the best level. But this has been nothing to do with Swansea, but he needs to go back to Portugal because he is a boy. He was not ready for that level. He has a big potential.